Many editor friends of mine have come to rely heavily on Avid Script Sync feature, and they'll often say that they can't imagine working without it. I get that because it's crazy powerful, but I've never really been able to fall in love with it completely because of the interface or something. I I, I don't like clicking the little lines, and the, the interface is just tedious uh, for me. I know some editors who don't use Script Sync, but who might use line read sequences where they have their assistant cut each line from each setup end to end in a string out. I feel like that's probably the most labor intensive method, maybe. So I wanted to come up with something else. Um, years ago, learning about the use of uh, Final Cut on the movie Focus from Mike Matzdorf, I was turned on to a way of providing similar functionality in that app by using keywords and stuff. And so I was wondering if I could do a similar sort of thing in Avid. And so this is what I do. It's pretty straightforward, and that is I just use markers. Now, just as an aside, I work in scripted TV, so this is specific to that world or, or features. But anyway, here's what I do. So usually the script supervisor uh, on their line script is going to tag each line with a number, kind of like this. This is a script from a show I worked on, and you can see that they've, they did that. Now, they don't always do that, and if they don't do that, you can just scribble your own in when you read through the, the scene. And when I review the footage, I just drop a, a marker by each line and give it a, the corresponding number. So then when you go and look through your dailies and you want to go to a specific line, you can just match it referencing the, the script, and you can find it really quickly and, and bounce through your options. So you can stop there, or if you'd like... You can string everything out in like a chem roll and uh, you can sort your marker list uh, by the number and um, you're able to quickly bounce through your options. You're not running out on me, are you? Sorry, no. No, uh... No, uh... Well... You can also put up uh, the thumbnail image in your uh, markers window so that you can see an, a representative image of the setup, which you, you can't get as easily with script sync as far as I know. You can easily color code your markers or add comments or additional notes. So if there are variations or ad libs, those are easy to mark and to search. Okay, but you're probably thinking, shit, but doesn't this take forever to put markers on the lines? And the answer to that is yes. It's largely a manual process, but like so is script sync if you do it right. Uh, the automation in script sync is nice, but it, it isn't anywhere close to perfect and it all needs to be checked and manually manipulated. Um, and at that point, it's no different really than setting markers. Anyway, because I'm a nerd, I came up with this way of automating the marker method a bit. Uh, which can speed things up. And that's using like a macro thing like Keyboard Maestro. You can just play back and hit a button at each line and they'll be automatically labeled and go up numerically. You can just key in at what, you know, number you want to start at and then it'll just take it up from there. So often my assistant does this for me or sometimes I find I can do it a little bit um, just as I'm watching dailies. And um, anyway, that's the hot tip. You can use it or just use script sync the way God intended. All right, bye.